Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to our Service of Remembrance 2020. Our national public act of remembrance began all those years ago in Farnham. And it's sad, therefore, that due to corona restrictions, we've not been able this year to process through the town from Castle Street. We've needed to gather here today on the anniversary of the armistice in rather reduced circumstances. Nevertheless, this event will be no less poignant as we also think of those who've lost loved ones to COVID-19. Please may we ask that you maintain social distancing throughout our time together and keep your face coverings on. The music we heard at the start were pieces played by the Alder Valley Brass Band. Sadly, regulations meant they were not able to be with us today. But particularly this morning, we welcome our civic party. Brigadier Hood, DL. Councillor Pat Evans, Mayor of Farnham. Jeremy Hunt, MP. And Roger Brown, Farnham Royal British Legion Chairman. We especially thank our Parade Marshal, Ian Hunter, and our bagpiper, Hamish Robertson. We welcome all those on parade this morning and all members of our town and community here present or watching on Farnham's Facebook Live or YouTube channels. During the ceremony, wreaths will be laid, directed by our parade marshal. As the Civic Party arrived this morning, we heard Abide With Me, recorded by the Military Wives Choir. This was released on Friday to mark the centenary of the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior in Westminster Abbey. It will be played again at the end of our morning service, as members of the public and others who wish to do so lay tributes. Once the Civic Party has departed over the bridge into Gostry Meadow at the end of the service, everyone is asked also to depart through Gostry Meadow to allow others to come into the memorial from South Street. And if you brought a personal tribute and would like to do so, you'll be able then to lay it here too. Coming to the memorial, please, through South Street. A short silence. And then with some opening sentences from Scripture, our service will begin. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I lift my eyes to the hills, from whence will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. And we pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. Mayor of Fun. In memory, remember Epes, Gallipoli, the Somme, Mons, and Verdun. Remember the Western Desert, El Alamein, the Normandy beaches. Remember Coventry, Dresden, Hiroshima, and the Burma Road. Remember Korea, 
the Falkland Islands, Northern Ireland, the Balkans, East Timor, Afghanistan, and the Gulf. Remember the courage, the comradeship, the ingenuity, the spirit of working together for a common cause, the planning together for a better world that would come with peace. Remember the call to arms, the patri patriotic songs, the partings which were such sweet sorrow, the sound of the drum, the skull of the pipe, the prayer that God would be on our side. Remember the carnage, the colossal horror of war. Remember the widows of 60 years and more, the old men and women who never knew their fathers. Remember the love that was lost, the wisdom wasted, the minds that are still pained by memories. Remember the families bereft by recent wars and conflict. Remember this day the children who will die while nation fights nation. Remember the one who asked us to remember them. And finally, let us not forget the current worldwide coronavirus pandemic. Let us remember all those who have died and their families who mourn them. And let us include in our thoughts the medical personnel who work tirelessly to provide support wherever it is needed. And the scientists researching a vaccination for its relief. They shall not grow old as we are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the age of years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. We will remember them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Lord Lieutenant of Surrey, Brigadier Hood, DL. <laughs> On behalf of Farnham Branch of the Royal British Legion, Mr. Roger Brown, Chairman. Representing the town, Farnham Town Council and Public Services, Councillor Pat Evans, Mayor of Farnham. Representing the armed forces, Major Brooks, Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. <laughs> Veterans, including the Freeman of Farnham. David Waters. This is Debbie Hunter. Major Stephen Plowman of the West Surrey branch of the Queen's and PWR Regimental Association. Miss Dennis Poulter, Royal Air Force Association. Mr. Eddie Pierce, representing the Freeman of Farnham. Flight Lieutenant Nick Filler, representing the RAF Air Cadets and the Cadet Forces. Jeremy Hunt, MP. The 
Police and Crime Commissioner, Mr David Munro. Representing the Surrey Police and Emergency Services, Sergeant Andrew Crane. Representing Farnham Chamber of Commerce and the businesses of Farnham, Mr Andrew Lodge. Representing St John's Ambulance and the uniformed volunteering sections, Scouts, Cubs, Beavers and Girl Guiding, Miss Maisie May. Representing the young people of Farnham, Leon and Tegan Dobbs. Representing the Hedgehogs and Service Groups of Farnham, Mr David Magand. Representing Phyllis Tuckwell and the charities of Farnham, Mr Michael Mayer. Representing Farnham Maltings and the community organisations, Mr Gavin Stride. Representing the Ahmadiyya Muslim Association, Mrs. Rashida Nasir. <clears throat> Let us pray. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you've gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, as children of our Heavenly Father and heirs of the promise, we pray the prayer of the Kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
final prayer of blessing. May God the Father who created you and redeemed you in his Son, Christ Jesus, make you always to live by the power of his Spirit and for the glory of his name. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you and those whom you love, care for and pray for, now and always. Amen. Thank you.